Welcome, uh, Brian Keeler here. <coughs> I'm uh, doing a painting of the Tiber River in Rome, which I painted uh, on many occasions uh, over the course of my uh, 20 plus years of uh, visiting Rome. And this one is based on uh, a plein air painting that I did. And um, I've done one several times. The one that you were just shown earlier was one that I did a couple years ago. And this one is a, a view of um, St. Peter's and Hadrian's um, uh, mausoleum, also called. Casa Sant'Angelo, and uh, I'm just doing some last minute finishing touches here and doing the highlights on the, uh, the clouds. I was here painting with my students uh, last spring, and, uh, and I'm doing somewhat of a self-portrait. You can come on in closer now, and, uh, so you can see what I'm actually doing. Come in real close. I'm, uh, the sun is over here, so I'm sort of uh, gilding these clouds, uh, putting some uh, highlights to this. We always have to keep in mind where the uh, sunlight is uh, is coming from. And clouds are tricky because there's sometimes clouds that obscure things, uh, other clouds, so it's not a, um, a set pattern. And um, uh, I'll explain about the clouds here. The clouds were invented, but I've seen them uh, like that on uh, various occasions. And the way that I've organized them is to have them somewhat uh, of an echo of the perspective grid that's set up here by the river going back this way. So the clouds are going back in a succession, or a diminution is the word, going back in a space. And I purposefully organized them that way. And this group of clouds up here is also part of that. And uh, this uh, family or group of clouds is uh, also part of that. But it's one distinct group up here, another distinct group here, and then this succession going back here into uh, space. So. Uh, Right now I'm uh, just going over these clouds with a little bit of um, white and a little bit of uh, Naples yellow, just so it has somewhat of a warm uh, uh, tint to it. I'm trying to be uh, delicate and, uh, and subtle because uh, especially where the clouds are right here now, the further back in space they go, the more um, uh, more soft they get and diffuse and uh, so the further back in space we go the more uh, uh, the less definition and the, the softer we like them. I can even put another layer down here. I'm going to put one more layer in here closer to even uh, further this, uh, this idea. Uh, as I said, this is, I think I said this, this is where Corot painted also in the early part of the 19th century, perhaps about 1825, and he has a view of this exact spot, and I often go back to the same spots that he's been at and uh, try to find them. And it's changed a little bit since then. Uh, there, these promenades were not there, and uh, these are part of the flood control aspects of uh, modern Rome. Um, Continue that bit across here. I'm going to put one more layer down here and also so we have another view. And while I'm putting these in, I'm thinking of the, um, the relationships that, between these horizontals. And when I start the painting, I'm thinking of these major divisions of space too. So as I'm putting them down there, I'm trying not to have them in, the, in a boring or too even of a uh, succession. So the whole thing is uh, thinking about relationships and, uh, and how these shapes uh, interact with uh, each other. I'm going to, um, you can step back a little bit here now, I'm going to go up to the uh, uh, sky here. And, uh, you can come down to my palette here for a minute if you would. I'll show you. I'm mixing a little bit of, I think that's cadmium orange there. That I'm mixing in here because I want to warm it up, get this kind of a saffron color in here. Now I'm going to go up to the painting and uh, just mess it up here. That's just about perfect what I want. So I'm just uh, adding some of these uh, gilded kind of looks to the clouds here to just kind of bring up these highlights of the, the last rays of sun during this <coughs> golden hour. Thing happening right here, so you can see this uh, kind of brings out another layer within this um, 
cloud here, so I'm, I want to be soft. And so there's a little bit of this part of the cloud that I'm inventing here as the sun's coming up. And I'm going to use my finger here to uh, soften it. So it makes the cloud a little more dimensional, so it's not just a, a, a flat shape. And so we have some nuances of uh, color in here too, of the, uh, of the sun. I'm going to do one more thing with a, um, a larger brush to, uh, I've begun to suggest it here with a different uh, value here. I'm going to mix up even down to the, my palette here again. And what I'm going to endeavor to do is, is mix up a gray color. It's a little bit lighter than uh, what I have here. And what I've done is I mixed a little bit of cobalt blue and a little bit of black and with white. So I'm going to test it out here and see if it's what I want. And that's just about perfect. So uh, I'm just going to restate what I've done by kind of spontaneous serendipity of bring out, bringing out some other shapes. Uh, and it's all done uh, pretty much through uh, value. And value is another word that just means uh, uh, tone or the quality of light and dark. And so what I'm doing here is uh, creating some uh, nuances within this cloud shape here. I'm going to continue that over to here. And that'll be just about perfect what I was looking for. And you can see that I've done it right here too. And it's done with temperature as opposed to, to value. Uh, value also, but I have this kind of light lavender color and then a darker uh, where it goes into the gold and, and kind of a darker lavender here. So I'm just creating uh, nuances within these uh, clouds. Okay, I think that's about uh, all I wanted to do. I just wanted to show part of what I wanted to um, demonstrate here is the difference between going from a study, if you go over to this painting again, this is the, one of the studies that I did on location. And to show you how, go back here now, this is another study that I did on location. So the, the process of this short video is to show you the, uh, the difference between going from a, uh, a study to a uh, full-fledged uh, painting, studio painting. Okay, you can step back now. And, um, and so this is a studio painting based on the uh, plan air experience. And uh, it just to uh, uh, share with you some of the, this process of taking a uh, field study into a larger studio painting. Thank you so much for your